Dr. Peter Glidden, your steadfast advocate for medical truth, truth particularly from the naturopathic perspective, which is the best perspective that 21st century medicine has. So I'd like you to put something heavy on your head because I'm about to make it explode. Take a look around, ladies and gentlemen. It is not pretty. Everybody is not just overweight but obese. Well, not everybody. But there's been a remarkable increase in the last 20 years, an increase in obesity in adults by 60%, and in ch children, it's tripled. It's tripled in the past 30 years. You've got to be kidding me. So much so that one-third now, and the numbers are getting worse, they're not getting better, one-third plus, pun intended, of Americans are not just overweight, they are obese. Newsweek talked about this about 15 years ago. It hasn't changed. And it's getting to a point now where, you know, it's become the new reality, right? Being overweight is the new healthy. Orange is the new black. Being overweight is the new healthy. And this thought process has seeped into society because, well, everybody's getting obese. Everybody's overweight. Everybody's getting obese. You look around, a third of the population, you got to be kidding me. And this is a gigantic failure of conventional medicine. Uh, don't believe me? Well, what medicine is in the dominance here in the United States? Is it naturopathic medicine? Is it chiropractic medicine? Is it traditional Chinese medicine or acupuncture or Ayurveda or homeopathy or botanical medicine? No. It's MD-directed, allopathic, pharmaceutical centrist medicine. For goodness sakes, the only medicine that they practice at your hospital, the only medicine that they do research on at your alma mater, uh, the only medicine by and large that your insurance pays for, the only medicine that they talk about on the evening news, the only medicine that you see direct to consumer commercials about, it's everywhere all, the, all of the time because since 1912, MD directed allopathic medicine has been the king. It exists in, in a monopoly, which was established through the help of the Carnegies and the Rockefellers in 1912. And, you know, don't get me wrong. Thank God for uh, lidocaine and the sterile technique. But absolute power corrupts absolutely. And inside of a monopoly, all kinds of shenanigans happens. All kinds of bad outcomes happen. And obesity... The obesity epidemic in this country is a direct result of that. Because your medical doctor may be the nicest person in the world, but your medical doctor doesn't practice medicine. Your medical doctor practices allopathic medicine, which is fantastic for surgery and trauma care, but lousy for things like, well, making people healthy. <laughs> so you go to a medical doctor with a, a weight problem, and their solution, well, cut out your stomach. Yeah, it's called gastric bypass. That's a little too radical for you, uh, Mrs. Jones. Well, okay. So we're going to do lap band surgery. We're going to go in, we're going to tie a band around your stomach and tighten it. Make the contents of your stomach smaller. That's the cure for obesity. You've got to be kidding me. This is a train wreck. It's a juvenile understanding of how the human body works that medical doctors bring to the table, with the exception, again, of trauma care, surgery when it's necessary. Thank God for military field medicine, right? But we need perspective on this, and we don't have any. And for goodness sakes, even Weight Watchers will tell you that it's a, it's a, it's a big, bad voodoo daddy. According to Weight Watchers' own research, the average weight loss is 5% after six months. And then 33% of it comes back within two years. So somebody's not doing the right thing here. Quite frankly, nobody's doing the right thing. There have been lots of published articles which state, you know, peer-reviewed, published scientific journals, there's no relationship 
between exercise and weight loss. Let me say it again. It, exercise will, in fact, make it harder to lose weight. Um, you've been convinced that the reason that you're overweight is because you have a bad gene, and, and that's just a lie. If you're overweight, you have a bad doctor. You have a bad a doctor that's not trained in health care. You have a doctor that's trained in disease management through an allopathic lens, which is good for surgery, but bad for everything else, for goodness sakes. There is a reason that people gain weight, but conventional medical doctors are clueless as to the operative cause here. Naturopathic doctors have a clue. By the way, I am a licensed naturopathic physician. I have 33 years of clinical experience. The initials after my name are ND. To become a naturopathic doctor in the U.S., you got to do four years of pre-med. I did that at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst. Four years of naturopathic medical school at a fully accredited by the United States Department of Education medical school, by the way. I matriculated at Bastyr University outside of Seattle. You have to do about 1,000 hours of clinical supervision. You have to pass national boards. You have to pass state boards. You have to do 25 hours of continuing education credit every year. And, oh, yeah, by the way, you need to be licensed. <laughs> Naturopathic medicine, the best-kept secret in the 21st century, by the way, primary care. It's primary care. And naturopathic physicians are taught health care. We are taught methods to bring our patients into states of health, which is so much better than simply managing disease. So if you see a naturopathic physician, we are going to attempt to figure out why you're overweight instead of just, oh, well, oh, by the way, cut your stomach out. Does that sound like a good idea? Now, Hopefully, your, your head is starting to explode. <laughs> but there's more to come. Because for most people who are struggling with a weight issue, you, you don't need a private appointment with a naturopathic physician. Some people will. But the majority of people struggling with weight, they just need to know simple steps to take on their own for 90 days to see whether or not they get leverage over their weight. Most of the time you will. You don't need a doctor's appointment. Some people do. I've put together a remarkable amount of information on my website. And it, I'd like you to go to weightlossmyths.com right now. Go to weightlossmyths.com right now for a special offer that will give you access not only to weight loss information, but to a remarkable library of health recovery information that I have put together based on 33 years of my clinical experience. It's self-help health recovery par excellence. Amongst other things, once you go to my website, which you will do right now, <laughs> here's what you're going to learn curtains, please. The real reason between the dramatic increase in obesity, it's not genetic. There is a reason it's happening. It's got nothing to do with genes. The reason that exercise doesn't help. I mean, you're welcome to your own opinion, but not your own set of facts. Here's an interesting one. What cattle ranchers know and how it affects weight gain in human. Are, do I have your attention yet? Why conventional medical doctors, nutritionists, and personal trainers have been unable to fix it. Because they have the wrong training. You're taking the wrong dog to the hunt regarding weight loss or health recovery if you go to those people. I'm going to talk about the real relationship between weight gain, heart disease, high blood pressure, and adult onset diabetes. Diabetes. Conventional medical doctors will tell you that one leads to the other, and that's not correct. There is something, there is a relationship, but it's not that. And more importantly, the simple steps that you can take at home right now in order to attempt to bring your body into an optimal state of health. Weightlossmyths.com, go there right now, for goodness sakes. Because honest to God, ladies and gentlemen, we haven't had a free medical market in this country since 1912. 
And again, thank God for insulin and lidocaine and, you know, pain medicine sometimes. You know, as long as you're not Prince. Right? But absolute power corrupts absolutely, and that's what's happened here in the United States for the last, uh, I don't know, 110 years. There are alternatives to conventional medicine which are licensed and regulated. There are remarkable amounts of information which are science-based and clinically verified that you are completely in the dark about. And more is the pity. I intend to do something about it. Weightlossmyths.com. Weightlossmyths.com. Go there right now, and I'll see you around campus.